Hey guys, it is Tuesday the 19th of May. Uh, I'm about to head out to work, but before I go, I wanted to show you something really exciting that arrived yesterday. So this is the Bass and Flinders at Home Masterclass with Native Botanicals. Uh, so Bass and Flinders Distillery down uh, in the morning to Peninsula and they do a masterclass where you can go and actually make your own gin. Something I've planned on doing but never gotten around to it but during this period of isolation they have created an at-home version where they send you a whole heap of stuff. You blend up your own gin and um, send them the recipe and they send you a 500ml bottle. So you get a native botanical aroma and flavor wheel that gives you an idea of what the botanicals are, what they work well with, what part of the palette they go on. Um, you just get a thank you for ordering letter, a bit of information about the distillery, much more detailed instructions. And then this is the actual kit. So you get a little syringe. Um, all of these are 15 mil pots of the botanicals that you can use, so they match up to here. You also get this test tube. Inside here is uh, some dry botanicals, so uh, juniper seeds, lemon thyme, a couple other things I can't remember right now. Uh, then you also get um, some 35 mil bottles of juniper. They give you two of those so you, that you can blend up two different recipes. Uh, somewhere in there, in here, is also some coriander, but I'm not sure where. And then they send you a bottle of um, tonic water. So this is the Fever Tree Indian. I'll probably swap this out for the Mediterranean, just because that's what I prefer. So basically, the weekend cannot come fast enough. I'm so excited to play around with this and create my own gin. And I'll film little bits while I'm blending it up um, and take you through that process. And once I get the bottle, I'll sit down and do a whole review. Now we'll start with the actual botanicals. Wattle seed, dry straw, toast, cocoa, coffee, and nutty. Smells like a cafe. Let's try a little bit. Yeah. That tastes like coffee. I don't like that. Lemon myrtle. I'm gonna like this one. Sweet, fragrant, citrus candy. I mean, all of those words are just up my alley. Oh, it's so good. Pepperberry. Sweet, aromatic pepper spice. So all of the distillates are divided into where they are on the palette. And you should ideally have two from the front, two from the middle, and two from the back. Obviously we're going lemon myrtle. There's, there's no question about that. Now let's go strawberry gum. So we start by adding two mils of the coriander into the juniper. We try it with the tonics. Oh, yes, I really like that. So, attempt one has been a success. 
and I'm feeling surprisingly okay. I would have thought I would be a lot more slosh by now because that's actually quite a lot of uh, distillates that are all at 40% ABV. And here it is, Rosie's Happy Juice Volume 1. I didn't come up with the name, a friend did, and we all agreed it was perfect. It's Volume 1 because both Bass and & Flinders and a whole heap of other distilleries do these Make Your Own Gin uh, masterclasses. So the plan is to get around to all of these distilleries and have many versions of Rosie's Happy Juice. So I made and ordered this on the Sunday. I got a notification on the Thursday that uh, it had been shipped out and it arrived on the Tuesday. Uh, Monday was also a public holiday. So got here really quickly. Uh, that smells really nice and like really heavy on that lemon myrtle that I remember. Yeah. That's good. I think it's a little bit different to what I created, but it's hard to say because it was a little while ago. It's just got a touch more of that alcohol flavor, but I don't really mind because there is tons of that lemon myrtle and that strawberry gum. It's not so overpowering that it's like, oh, I'm drinking ethanol. It's just coming through a bit more, which uh, probably has something to do with how it was distilled. Yeah, I'm really, really happy with that. I'm so glad I did this. So overall thoughts, I think this is a great idea. It is $165, which is a bit pricey. It's probably on par with most of the make your own gin masterclasses where you actually go to the distillery and do it. But I definitely think it's worth it. This is obviously great for at the moment when the distilleries aren't able to run these classes so you, you can do it uh, on your own at home. Uh, particularly it would be good if you're not in Melbourne. Uh, well I'm pretty sure every state has other distilleries that do this. Uh, if you did particularly want to do the Bass and Flinders one but coming down to Victoria when that's all easy enough to do is still just a little much time money all of that. You can do this from your own home. Uh, which makes it really, really easy. You can do it in your own time. I spent probably, I think about an hour making mine and I only ended up doing one recipe. I, I didn't feel like doing that second one, but it's something you could take the whole day to do and do it slowly and, you know, have a bit of a break in between. Really for me, the only negatives was the range of botanicals. Uh, I would have liked to see maybe some more spicy or more floral things. Um, I thought it was a little narrow, um, but I mean, I still got a gin I'm really, really happy with. And I think if you wanted to go in a different direction, something a bit more sweet, something a bit more dry, you definitely would have been able to. Uh, the instructions they provide, both the video and the written instructions are really, really helpful. It's really clear what you need to do. And then you get this gorgeous bottle at the end of it. And, and you can reorder it. So once I finish this bottle, uh, it's only 500 ml, so I'll probably get through it pretty quickly. Uh, but I can then go and ask them to redo it. So I'm really, really excited about having that ability. So if you are interested in doing something a little bit different, having a nice weekend project, would highly recommend ordering this. It's $165, so it's not too bad. Uh, I think it's definitely worth it. Um, I will leave the link down in the description box. If you've done this or you've done any other uh, custom gin masterclasses, I'd love to hear about them. So please put them in the comment box below. That has been me reviewing all of this. I hope you enjoyed it. Bye.